Is Trump trying to pivot toward the center? I believe so. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan. And today we got to talk about Donald Trump in recent interviews being asked some interesting questions and giving some interesting answers. Now, I'm going to show two examples, but there's many more. And if you want to see anything I'm talking about right now, link will be in the box. If you're on IG, visit the link in the bio. Go to the correspondent article on the website. But one question was about the LGBT thing and transgender people. The other one was about a pro-life, pro-choice situation. What are you going to do as far as putting limits on it? 15 weeks, 20 weeks, no limits. What are you going to do? The answers kind of shocked and infuriated many on the right. But some on the right, some more center-leaning people are like, oh, it's okay, I'm not really mad at this. Now, I'm going to ask you what you think in one moment. But first, let's look at the very first one. And uh, this is really interesting. Let me get it on the screen right quick. This is really interesting because this should be a pretty simple question to answer in my point of view, but maybe Trump is thinking about other things. Let's watch this. Then we're going to get into a little bit more. Can a man become a woman? Um, <laughs> in my opinion, you have a man, you have a woman. I Let's okay. Let's just pause, and then we're going to restart. Now, Megan Kelly, this is her asking Donald Trump, and shout out to her for getting the interview. I'm surprised she got this interview because remember Trump was the guy talking about she had blood coming out of her wherever. Remember that from back a few years ago. So this was an interesting interview to begin with, and she did not ask him softball questions. And this was an example of one of those non softball questions: Can a man become a woman? Straight up and down, what's your response? What does he do? Uh, if you ask ABL, hey, do you think that a man can become a woman? I'm going to say no. You can think you are whatever you want, but you cannot actually do it. That'd be my response. Let's play it one more time. Then we're going to keep on rocking and rolling. Can a man become a woman? Um... <laughs> in my opinion, you have a man, you have a woman. I, 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 think, I think part of it is birth. Can the man give birth? No, no, although they'll come up with some answer. So that's the, that's the response right there. He's like, well, I think you have a man, you have a woman. Uh, can a man give birth? No. But did he answer the question directly? You guys can decide on your own. Now, let's get to the next thing. This is the big one. Mr. President. This is on Meet the Press. Now, the first one, that was Becky and Kelly over on her particular platform. This is Christian Welker over on NBC Meet the Press. She's asking him about abortion bans. All right? Because this is a really, really big issue. You just had Roe v. Wade get overturned. And by the way, uh, the, me the media are saying this is kind of a, rever a reversal from Trump because he's the one that paved the way for Roe v. Wade to get overturned although obviously he's not a supreme court justice he can't do that himself different story i digress let's watch this mr president i want to give voters who are going to be weighing in on this election yeah. a very clear sense of where i think you they'll stand i on think they're all going to like me i think both sides are going to like me let, let me what, but what's let mr. going president, to have to mr. happen president, is you're going to have to this question, Christian, please. you're asking me a question what's going to happen is you're going to come up with a number of weeks or months, you're going to come up with a number that's going to make people happy. Because 92% of the Democrats don't want to see abortion after a certain period of time. If a federal ban landed on your desk, if you were reelected, would you sign it at 15 weeks? Are you talking about a complete ban? A ban at 15 weeks. Well, people, people are starting to think of 15 weeks that seems to be a number that people are talking about right now would you sign that uh, uh, i would i would sit down with both sides and i let's pause right here i gotta pause it because nbc i don't want no copyright or nothing like that but he's not necessarily answering the question directly he's trying to in my opinion play the middle let me just start it a little bit back and then let's keep on going that people are talking about right now. Would you sign that? Uh, uh, I would I would sit down with both sides and I'd negotiate something and we'll end up with peace on that issue for the first time in 52 years. Uh, I'm not going to say I would or I wouldn't. 
I mean, DeSantis w- is willing to sign a five-week and six-week ban. Would you support that? You think I, that I goes too far? I think what he far? did is a terrible thing and a terrible mistake. All right, so you, you heard it right there. Now, he's saying that DeSantis, he called him DeSantis. He's saying that DeSantis signing a five- or a six-week ban would be a total mistake. So he's saying that's not a good thing to do. The heartbeat bill is what he's referring to. The heartbeat bill says when a heartbeat can be detected in a baby in the womb, then the baby is a human being. It's protected life, and you cannot do anything to end that life prematurely, legally. That's what the heartbeat bill says. He's saying that's too much. It should be more like 15 weeks. Now, you guys, I'm going to ask you the question because it's, it's going to get asked. Is that too um, long? You got to understand, most abortions take place before that, like 98% of them. Now, obviously, this is not going to be what they were trying to do in Virginia, but they were trying to say up to the point of birth, you know, when the baby, when a, when a woman is like nine months full gestation and is prepared to deliver the baby, obviously it would not be that long, but 15 weeks, is that an okay compromise? And I think what's going on is that he's trying to reach the middle. Donald Trump, regardless of what he says right here about abortion or anything else, is going to be the nominee. Uh, Ron DeSantis Vivek Ramaswamy, all of them are vying for second place at best. Second place at best. Maybe they might be a VP. Maybe they might do something else in government. Maybe they might just get a name for themselves. I have no idea. But there's nobody even close, even close to Donald Trump. And I don't think that issue would sink him because you got to understand. You got to still get the moderates, independents, and those that are kind of on the fence who may vote for a Donald Trump or a Joe Biden to go to Donald Trump's side. And that issue may take him over the edge. So this will not actually hurt him at all. But what do you guys think about that? Is that a good thing? Bad thing? Y'all let me know. Now here, here, here are a couple of articles. Of course we have, this is on uh, CNN and you see how they framing it, right? Trump who paved way for Roe versus Wade reversal says Republicans speak very inarticulately about abortion. And this was published yesterday. Let me see if I can get into a little bit of this right quick. So um, he said some Republicans speak very inarticulately about the issue and have pursued terrible state level restrictions that could alienate much of the country. Now, when you're talking about state level issues, who cares about the country? But if you're talking about being the president of the USA, federal position, you're trying to be, you know, the, the president of all of us in all states, territories, et cetera, then it might make a difference. If you are, let's say, for example, you are uh, Brian Kemp in Georgia, Ron DeSantis in Florida, Bill Lee, Tennessee. If you're these guys, you're not concerned about what people in California got to say about your particular bill. Okay. Californians, you hate what I do. Then y'all stop flooding in Nashville, Atlanta, Sarasota, Florida, et cetera, et cetera, so on and so forth. Stay over there if it's like that. But when you're the president, it's a little bit different. Now, I'm not necessarily trying to defend what Trump is saying. If it was me, I would say let's ban it completely. But that's just me, right? That's just me. That's just my point of view. Could I do that on the federal level? No. Do I want to? Yes. But could I do it? No. So what do I do in in return? Nothing. And, and have nothing happen? I don't really know. Now, let's let's go here. There's another one, another article that I wanted to just uh, look at the headline here. It says, Trump calls DeSantis abortion ban a terrible mistake, sparking anger from some key Republicans. All right, let's, let's take a look at this right here. All right, so he said it's a terrible thing. We know about that as far as the bill, the heartbeat bill, et cetera. Uh, posting on X, formerly known as Twitter, DeSantis campaign spokesman Brian Griffin wrote on Trump, if you want to appease Democrats, here's your guy. If you want to defeat the Democrats in 2024, DeSantis is the only choice. Now, here's my question. How are you going to defeat the Democrats in 2024 if you can't even get a nomination? Because a lot of people, I've been hearing about this in the streets. You know, I got, I got my ear to the streets. A lot of people just wish that Trump would go away, that he was not there, 
that Ron DeSantis could get the nomination and then they could just go forward. But again, as I said earlier, nobody is even close to Donald Trump in the polls. And what he said right there about abortion, whether we like it or not, is going to help him in the polls. It's not going to hurt him. So what are you going to do about that? What can you really do? I think what he's doing here is just trying to appeal to the middle. And I don't think that it's anything that's really that new. Remember when Donald Trump first ran 2015 and they were asking him about the whole transgender issue. Remember what he said? He was like, hey, do you think they should use the bathroom with their choice? Because at the time you had uh, Bruce Jinder coming out. And by the way, uh, Trump and uh, Bruce Jinder, a.k.a. Caitlyn Jenner, these are, are pretty good friends. Matter of fact, let me see if I can uh, find them right quick. They're, they're, they're good. They're, they're good pals. They hang out. Is that Mar-a-Lago? The, the whole thing, right? So you, you got you to gotta ask yourself, um, if he said that back then, why would it be any different now? Why would he all of a sudden change? I think this, this is pretty much him. This is pretty much just how he operates. I was trying to find a picture of them together, but you get the idea. Oh, here it is. There we go right there. Perfect. And this is a more recent picture, right, of um, Bruce as Caitlyn. So now if that's going on, you think he's going to say, no, nah, they can't use the bathroom of their choice. You think he's going to say a man can't become a woman? You, you see what I'm saying? Trump is more of a common sense person, not 100% conservative. And there are some things socially that he'll agree with that I don't agree with. And it was like that from the beginning because I did not agree with him on the whole issue with the transgenders in the bathrooms. He said they could use the bathroom of their choice. I don't agree with that. I think there should be federal legislation against that. But he said it was okay in 2015. So it was like, what did we do? As I close, I want to say this. Um, these are some very interesting answers that he gave to these questions over the past few days during interviews. And I don't think it's going to hurt him, although many of us are not going to agree with it. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? What's your take on what Trump is talking about as far as the issue of transgenders, the issue of abortion, whatever your thoughts are? Let me know in the comments below. Will this impact your vote when it comes time for the primary are you still going to vote trump were you going to vote trump before this did his answer make you vote in the affirmative for him whereas before you didn't want to vote for him because we got quite a fit we got quite a bit of one issue voters and the whole thing is abortion if he is talking about 15 weeks all good heartbeat bill nope not going to vote for him Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. I don't agree with him what he's talking about right there at all, but I think he's still going to be the guy. He's the nominee. I'm voting for him. I don't really see a better alternative. Do you? In reality, whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.